Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your basic Sorgonomics. And uh, I wanted to get into uh, a little bit of a concept. I was at the great Alpha Lab uh, Coffee Club this week and uh, talking with some people. And uh, you end up, you know, as I do, kind of uh, you know, talking about what they could do with video, talking about what they could do with social media. I think we have a lot of uh, great conversations around that kind of stuff. And, and, and it's just kind of the natural thing we end up talking about. Uh, so one thing we were talking about video, I uh, was actually having a good discussion uh, with the, uh, the, the people behind Blue, Blue Salt, B-L-U-Salt.com, uh, uh, which is actually uh, handbags, purses, uh, which is not my expertise. Uh, but it was, uh, it was very interesting because, uh, you know, what, one thing they were saying was, you know, they have a problem photographing it because the material just absorbs all the light. It's a great material, uh, and, and they want to show that off. But photography was not the way to do that. And video is probably going to have a very similar problem. And uh, it really kind of uh, uh, harkened me back to, to a project we did over the summer uh, with a fellow that was uh, with um, uh, Three Rivers Gastronomy, where he was taking these pieces of wood and he was uh, uh, you know, taking a laser cutter to them, putting these great patterns into them. I definitely recommend you checking uh, both both things out if they're of your interest. Um, and, and then you can, and then it releases the flavor. So now if you cook on this wooden board with a design, when you get the design kind of cooked into the, the meat or chicken or whatever, and then also that flavor from the cedar comes through to the, to the, to the food. And uh, it's a very foodie kind of thing. And and one thing we did was uh, he had something down at the Made a Market. I made a market down at uh, Southside. And we're making sure we're trying to film people off the street, kind of, um, you know, walking up, taking a whiff and, and getting their reactions, getting those genuine reactions, uh, kind of a testimonial man on the street kind of thing, especially if it's something that, that you just can't convey, smell, texture, something like that. Like you need to get people saying, oh, this is this is this is such and such, you know, I mean, that's kind of the issue that we have when we're buying everything on Amazon. And, you know, there's the, the concept of show rooming, which is very much like I go to, oh, go to a Best Buy. I actually told somebody this week that I was looking for a new computer. Go to Best Buy and actually get your hands on a few computers and find one you think, you know, fits, feels like it's a good build. Because you can't tell just by hitting a bunch of specs, especially on PCs. They're so widely, widely made in quality. So, so for something like this, where it was the smell, you know, we're not grilling anything up and having them try it, but if they understand the idea of, of, uh, of, of cooking to begin with, uh, then it's something that you can convey beyond that, you know, and you get the smell and you go from there, uh, for, for, you know, this handbag idea, I was like, you know, go on the street, you know, find some ladies, you know, have them, you know, have them see it and touch it in person and get those reactions as well. And hopefully that would uh, kind of, uh, you know, give you give you something to to reinforce, you know, the quality of your product, uh, and, and 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 you know, I think that's that's really important. And 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 you know, I, I believe you know, video is a very good um, with testimonials, especially, but even just the experience, right? Um, you know, something like that you can't convey. Something like, uh, you know, the one job I have is is with a, a psychiatry service. And uh, how do you convey that? You know, here's a bunch of flowery words that say, oh, we are committed to blah, blah, blah. And that doesn't mean anything to you if you're a person with a problem, right? But what we do is we put faces on videos, words from the people and that, that work there and get the concepts of what's going on. So you don't really have, uh, you, you really have a good idea of what's going on there. I mean, you know, you can't uh, uh, just take a person on a person and say, this person's going to help you. Um, but we can put them in front of a camera and have them talk about how they help people. And if that fits into you, um, these are these are reinforcing concepts, right? Uh, you know, some, some, uh, some of the conversations, especially around podcasting, are how do I make money from X? How does this push me sales? How does A go to B? You know, how does this go to a click through, right? And you need to think about, you know, you know, you got to think about, you know, the whole picture, the whole package, um, with the one client we have, you know, they are not hurting for business whatsoever. Um, they're getting between referrals, between people finding them, between being an established practice of about 10 years, uh, they're able to, you know, the, they have plenty coming in the door, but a lot of them talk about, uh, 
you know, a lot of the testimonials coming in the door are saying, yeah, I heard from you on the website or, 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 you know, or I looked at the website before I came in. So again, that reinforces, you get the recommendation from say a doctor from somewhere else, hear the word from somewhere else and uh, word of mouth, whatever you go to the site and here's all this uh, information. Um, a very, you know, it's, it's a giant brochure. Yeah, kind of. Um, but you know, there's new content. There's, 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 there's plenty of stuff around whatever topic you may be coming for. Um, and, and I think we've done a really good job of positioning them as the experts in their field, uh, for the area. And, uh, and I, and I think that's, I think that's completely proven, you know, not by engagement numbers and likes or favorites or anything like that, but the fact that, uh, they are well overbooked and have a waiting, li- a waiting list at this point, I think, uh, you know, I mean, they're at that point, they're like, they're, they're, the you know, so they were getting like 10 calls every day, you know, of new, new, new clients, you know, and this is not a terribly large practice, you know. Uh, this is this is a practice of about you know off the top of my head I think about okay it's probably pretty large if it's like four or five uh, uh, psychiatrists and counselors of, of, of various natures so um, and I think that's a that's a really cool thing to to kind of look at it and 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 that's been something that's been developed and cultivated again over about five years I've been there um, and it's not something that you're going to set up and and maybe have figured out in the first maybe even month of doing something. Um, it depends on your. It, de- it also depends on your um, your field. Uh, I talked the other day about how indie wrestling uh, with Black Friday, it really has already jumped leaps and bounds because it was kind of um, um, latching onto or was a conversion from previous properties. You know the wrestling groups, the wrestlers themselves are great. You know personalities on the net that that help you know share the word because they want their stuff to get out there, right? Versus healthcare is you know all I had was what they had to go on. They had a little bit of a web presence beforehand, and um and 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 we had to adapt that and upgrade that and make it better, you know, and uh, and and really kind of work on that message a little bit, and 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 we worked that over, and and it's not as clear. I don't think I I haven't found uh, to see who do you target, and we're not really targeting anybody. We're just talking about what they do, and uh, and that's worked out really well. Again, not the greatest for engagement. We're not reaching out, but then again, how do you reach out and talk to people about depression? That's the part I'm I'm constantly battling with in that position. But again, you know, doing that and getting the students again, you can't touch feel this thing, but you get the students involved that are there. These PA students that come from uh, you know Chatham and Duquesne and and uh, you know all kinds of uh, uh, universities around the area, uh, they get to tell you, oh, this is what it's like here. And uh, I think that's really strong as well. And that's your testimonial. And that's really, really important if you don't have that easily visible kind of product to put on a 2D space on your page. So I hope that guys, I hope that I hope that helps you guys think about what you're doing with uh, uh, video and multimedia. Uh, as you're trying to sell something out there, uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you uh, have any other thoughts, please let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitters, uh, Mike at SorgatronMedia.com, or hit the contacts over at SorgatronMedia.com or Sidekick Media Services. Uh, we'll have information very soon on our next educational series talking about Insta content, Periscope, Snapchat. Katie Dude is uh, Kate Utters on the Twitter is going to be helping us out with that. Looking forward to that up here in January, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.